we're going to sit on the front edge of the chair. And I do have a couple of kittens in this room. Let's see if they are going to settle down. Just one moment. I'm going to destroy this wall. Okay, so take a seat on the front edge of your chair, please. Place your feet so they're hip distance apart, just for stability, a sense of stability. And close your eyes or bring your gaze down. You can drop your hands to your lap if you're comfortable doing so. And let's imagine that the mind is sometimes like a ceiling fan going at a certain speed. And while that speed may be variable throughout the course of a day, there are things that we actively do that make the ceiling fan speed up or become kind of chaotic. And then there are things we actively do to sort of suppress or quiet our ceiling fan. And sometimes that which is speeding up the ceiling fan or that which is turning it off are not driven by health or wisdom. So I'd like you to imagine for a few moments that the ceiling fan of your mind is slowing down because you're visualizing it and you're willing for that to happen. To support that slowing down process, try making the breath a little bit longer and smoother. And then we're gonna do some stretching and releasing for the neck and shoulders with that longer, smoother breath to help the ceiling fan of the mind come back down. So please hold your chair with your right hand, either the seat of the chair or the leg of your chair. Tip your left ear towards your left shoulder. With your left hand, reach up and put a little bit of weight onto your right collarbone. And then as you inhale, snug your right shoulder up and lift up through your chest and your heart. And keeping your heart lifted when you exhale, relax your right shoulder down. And inhale, lift your heart and pull your right shoulder up while holding onto the chair seat. Keep your heart lifted, but when you exhale, release your right shoulder down. And again, please. So when your left hand presses down against your chest, use that on the inhale to press up into. With your right hand fixed to the chair, use the tension of that to pull your right shoulder up during the inhale. With your exhale, release only your right shoulder. Keep the heart rising from the inside. Let's do this one more time, please. And then relax your right arm, let it dangle. Bring your left hand down to your lap and float your head back up to center. And pause and imagine the speed of your ceiling fan mind. And then hold the chair with your left hand. Tip your right ear towards your right shoulder and bring your right hand up to put some weight on the left collarbone. So we're adding this weight with the right hand. We're adding tension with the left hand. When you inhale, lift your heart 
and snug your left shoulder up. Keeping your heart lifted, relax your left shoulder on the exhale. And again, please. So each time you're exhaling to release your left shoulder, keep your heart lifted. And when you inhale, add to the lift of the inner body and shrug your left shoulder up. Release the muscles that shrug the shoulder when you exhale. Let's do that twice more. And one more time. And then release your right hand, your left, and float your head up to center. And as you're sitting upright, notice the ceiling fan of the mind. Imagine it getting slower, slower, coming into equanimity. Now reach back and hold the arms of the chair or the sides of your chair. And I'm going to ask you to squeeze your elbows back. If necessary, you can bend your arms, depending on how long your arms are and the distance between your shoulders and the chair. And squeeze the shoulders back behind you and let your chin come down in front. During the inhale, make a little stronger squeeze of your shoulders. And during the exhale, go slowly and try to draw your belly in so the exhale is blowing out and out and out. Again, inhale, squeeze your shoulders back. And exhale to blow the breath out using the strength and tone of your abdomen. And then release your hands from the chair and rest them in your lap. Relax your forehead, your eyebrows, your mind, your heart. Now walk the heels and toes out a little bit wider. That's it, so that you have a space here to come down to. And for some of you, that's gonna mean putting some blocks where your hands are gonna land. Okay. And then I'd like you to clasp your hands like this and inhale, raise up, lift your heart, lift your gaze. Now exhale, blow out through the mouth, take the arms wide. Inhale while you're here. Picture the back of the body lifting like a parachute. And then blow out through the mouth. <sighs> Clasp your hands, press down, inhale to reach forward and up. Exhale. Breathe in through your nose. And exhale. And last time, inhale to rise up. This time, exhale, big circle of the arms. Bring your hands back down to your knees. And then notice the speed of your ceiling fan mind.
I'm going to use the chair and the two blankets. The kitten is optional. Um, and actually, the kitten has to be moved here. So I'd like you to use your chair. I'll show you a profile view. We're going to set this up for the waterfall pose. And we'll do a little bit of practice with the knees and hips once we come down. Hi, honey. I know, isn't that horrible? There you go. So place your two folded blankets in front of your chair. And then you're going to be, I would recommend that you roll sideways to get into the chair seat. So what you do is you come down, uh, you place your hips to get under the blankets, I should say. Your legs are going to go on the chair seat. So like this. When you first come down, just check that you have the blankets under the back of your sacrum, up to the top of your pelvis, and that the knees can drop in towards the chest because gravity is helping. And what we're going to do here, when you're inhaling, the knees are going to be kind of pointing up towards the ceiling. When you exhale, let the knees fall towards your chest. So each knee is going towards its own shoulder. So let's breathe in through the nose, raise your knees up. And then exhale, knees to your shoulders. Inhale, knees up. Exhale, knees to your shoulders. Again, inhale, knees up. And last one, exhale, knees to the shoulders. And then take your feet up to the seat of the chair and to the upper back of the chair. This is called the waterfall pose. So what you just did there was a, a kind of breathing, resetting practice for your brain. And what yoga calls the vayus, those are energetic centers in the body. And those energetic centers have certain kind of responsibilities. One is for digestion, for example. One is for respiration. One of these centers helps you to feel more grounded. One is for circulation and so on. So having that practice, now I'd like you to close your eyes and picture the ceiling fan of the mind slowing down and slowing down and becoming very still. If you imagine the ceiling fan of the mind getting slower, we've all been somewhere when the ceiling fan is going too fast. Not only is it noisy, the amount of wind it generates is a little bit bothersome. And we've all been somewhere where we see how the ceiling fan, when we turn it off, it eventually slows down. So picture that slowing down process. The ceiling fan of the mind. Slower, slower, more and more calm.
Imagine how your eyes would eventually see the ceiling fan becomes still and the ears would no longer hear the sound of the whirling of the ceiling fan. And as that ceiling fan becomes very still, bring your attention down into your heart. And let's imagine that the heart is like a candle flame in a room where the ceiling fan has become still. So the candle flame of the heart is simple, radiant, but not flickering wildly. As you visualize this candle flame, you'll start to notice that it's in direct relationship with your mind. So if your mind is still and steady, the candle flame of the heart is more gentle, simple, if the mind gets flustered, it would fluster the candle flame of the heart. So imagine that you're gazing down with the eyes towards a candle flame in the heart. And even notice that if your mind dashes about It'll try to take your eyes with you, with it, excuse me. And so even having your gaze stay steady, this is another way to support the mind to be inward, downwards. So keeping your eyes at rest there on the candle flame and the ceiling fan of the mind, very quiet, moment to moment.
So of course the mind has very strong habits and it may not easily allow you to slow down the ceiling fan. And sometimes the eyes, they also get pulled away by the mind. So using your mind and the power of visualization, the eyes gazing at the candle flame, the mind not wanting to disturb that candle flame, the ceiling fan stays turned off for now. You may start noticing that the mind and the heart together can become quieter, more inward. Your shoulders, upper back, a little heavier against the ground, more relaxed. Visualizing the steady flame of the candle of your heart. Not disturbed by the ceiling fan of the mind.
ceiling fan of the mind willing to be still so the eyes can rest on the candle flame of the heart. And you may imagine this quality of mind going with you, this quality of heart going with you in the hours and the evening to come. And you might ask of your deeper wisdom, how would you care for this kind of mental quiet? How can you support this for yourself? Over the next couple of moments, just slightly deepen your breathing. And give a gentle wiggle to your fingers and your toes. Slide your knees towards your chest, please. And you can quietly roll down to your right side. When you're ready to, please bring both hands into action to bring yourself up to sitting. up to sit please bring your hands to your heart when you put the palms together notice that there's a tiny space in the center of the palms where your hands don't touch so you could imagine in that little space like you're protecting that candle flame in the heart Thank you all for being here. Namaste. And so how is the candle flame doing? Mm -hmm. 